Who else? It's always been a maritime sailing, boating uh, festival. Troy Vallos is a historian and special collections librarian with the Slover Library Sargent Memorial Collection. 1976. Here's the pictures of the first one. He gave me a look into Harbor Fest's origins in Norfolk, the nation's largest, longest running and free maritime event. It actually started uh, in 1976 with the bicentennial celebrations. Wow, look at the fireworks. He showed us some pictures from the very first and early days of Harbor Fest and how the festival helped the waterfront become the city attraction it is today. In 1976, the Christian Raddick, which was a a sail training ship from Norway visited Norfolk and during a weekend 13,000 folks came downtown to visit the ship. Bruce Bishop was one of the early organizers of Harbor Fest and is currently on the board. Downtown in general on the waterfront in particular was a very different place. It was a almost a barren wasteland. Mr. Bishop telling us that event sparked renewed interest in the waterfront, helping spur the development of sites such as the Waterside District and Town Point Park. It's an event that brings us together uh, as, a, as a community. But some have avoided attending the festival because they believe its location on the harbor connects it to the city's slave trade. Because Norfolk role in the domestic slave trade was enormous and because the waterways have been associated with slavery it's not surprising that a celebration about ships coming in and trading would be associated with slavery. That's Dr. Cassandra Newby Alexander. She, along with Mr. Vallos, have spearheaded countless hours of research discovering that more than 20,000 enslaved people were sold from Norfolk. This happening at the same downtown waterfront where modern day Harbor Fest takes place. What is surprising to me is that the organizers did not see that and did not try to get ahead of that story by really clarifying the history. Now the festival itself does not celebrate this sordid part of our past, nor did it ever. A lot of people really don't even understand that the transatlantic slave trade really had very little to do with the city of Norfolk. Most of the people who were brought in into this country, specifically into the Commonwealth of Virginia, were brought in along the York River. But the tall ships were not a part of that. And that's what people don't know. But that also doesn't mean that African Americans had no part in the area's maritime industry, quite the opposite. What has been missing though from Harbor Fest is the inclusion of African Americans. For much of this nation's history, blacks made up in this area anywhere between 40 and 60% of the people who were involved in the maritime industry. In the 19th century, a significant amount of them served as seamen and oystermen, nicknamed blackjacks on vessels throughout the many waterways of the Chesapeake region. Sailing was one of the few rare occupations that a formerly enslaved person could have at the time that allowed them economic independence. It is so important that Norfolk start telling its history. And I think that can help provide not just information, but also clarity about who we have been as a society and culture. 